Well, today is the last day of 2018. I can't believe it. The time just flies by, doesn't it? Well, a lot of you have asked questions because I posted on Instagram and Facebook about making goal, for, goal posters and vision boards with my family, and it's something we've done for the past few years, and it was so cute. Um, the kids just came up to me and were like, Mom, we need to make our goal posters because they just got in the habit. And I truly believe that more is caught than taught. And um, you know, I want my kids to see the importance of setting goals and for themselves. Um, in my business, I've always had to do that. I am my own boss, I'm self-employed. Nobody is going to, of course, Georgia gets right back here. Of course, she always wants to be with me. Um, you know, nobody's going to be like, come on, Daisha, get up. These are your goals. This is your vision. Like, no, I have to be the one self-motivated to do it. So having a vision for myself, my future, and my business and my family has been key to my success. And so um, I guess you could say I kind of got pretty good at it. And so literally from my early 20s to now, I'm, in, I'm 39, I have been doing um, vision boards and goal posters at least twice a year. Um, and so I don't know if you had, um, 2018 was a year where you achieved all your goals. And if you did, congratulations, hats off to you. But if you're like most, um, you wrote a lot of things down and didn't fulfill it. And that's okay because tomorrow is a new day and it's a fresh new start and anything can happen. And so I want to talk to you guys about just getting clear for the year, new year and what that looks like. And maybe something that I say will, um, resonate with you and um, will really get you clear about what you want. And if, if you've already had a session with yourself and you're clear, bravo, that's awesome. But if not, maybe this will motivate you. So what I do normally um, the last month of the year in 2018 is I get quiet. And I know that's so hard um, for anybody. Getting quiet is so hard, but it's so key to get still and to get quiet with yourself and so that's what I do is I just take like a spiral notebook and I will go outside or in a quiet room and I will literally just get still and be quiet maybe pray and ask for God to give me a word or words or whatever it is and I might just start doodling or <clears throat> making like um, a map of what I want like I might circle a word and what that means and that kind of just gets my mind going and that really, really helps. So I think the most important thing for you to do is to get quiet and to get still because sometimes we have to slow down to speed up, right? So that's what I want you to do if you haven't done that already, okay? So what I want you to think of is in your wildest dreams, right? Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Five years from now, where do you see, see yourself? In your wildest dreams, if you could accomplish anything, what would that be? Write that down and then later I want you to find pictures to go with that, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to think of a midterm goal. What is that? That's gonna be this whole year. So for 2019, a year from now, what do you want to achieve? It might be um, family goals, nutritional goals, business goals, whatever it is. But a year from now, what will that be? That's midterm goals, okay? So I want you to write that down specifically, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get quiet and think about that. So your long-term goal is five years out and your midterm goal is a year out. And then I want you to think a short-term goal, which is a month out. So every month you wanna sit down with yourself and say, what do I want to achieve a month from now? And then you're gonna work backwards. You're gonna go from working backwards and what am I achieving this month? Then what am I achieving within the week? And what am I achieving within the day, okay? And so that is gonna help you kinda set yourself up. So I want you to write down your long-term goal five years out and your wildest dreams, what, what would you wanna achieve? Um, a midterm goal, which is a year out, and then your short-term goal, which is gonna be for January and when you do that um, it's really gonna help you because this is the deal you guys what happens is we start off the new year and we're so excited right like we're gonna work out every day and we're gonna lose those last 10 pounds or you know we're gonna achieve something big in our career and you know whether you're in sales and you're gonna make 10 outgoing calls a day or you're going to be um, just more intentional at work or you're going to be um, 
fearless and go for that job opportunity that you've been too fearful to go for or to do more to reach another level in your business. But what happens is, is you're gonna start off strong and then what's gonna happen a few weeks in is that self-doubt of will, will this all pan out? You know, will it work for me? Ugh, is the work really worth it? Oh, but I don't feel like getting up at 5.30. Oh, one day won't matter right? That, that negative self-talk and boy, Satan knows what he's doing, right? And so this is the deal, you guys. This is why the miracle morning and getting up early is so important. So first and foremost, you can equip yourself. You can put that armor and that protection on, right? And you can have that prayer time and that quiet time and you can review your long-term goals, your midterm goals, your short-term goals, your affirmation, your words for the year, you know, your word for the year that we're going to talk about in a little bit those verses you connected with, you're regrouping, you're, you're getting ready, you're getting your mind prepared. So when that time hits, because we're human beings, and it will come where you're like, I just don't feel like doing it, you're gonna do it because of that um, mental toughness, okay, you guys? So what, what I do with the kids is, you know, and every year's different, you know, it really doesn't matter. You can have a poster, you can do a pic collage on Canva, or the app called Pick Collage, especially for me. I'm not an artist, I'm not super creative. And so I just went to Office Max yesterday and I got five posters, five simple posters and post-it notes. And I said, guys, get creative. We took an hour and I didn't control, I didn't tell them what they were supposed to write. And so for example, this is my oldest, so he wrote goals for 2019. And then everybody got a post-it note and I gave them ideas. I said, okay, write down some of your goals that you wanna accomplish um, for school this year, all right? Write down some goals that you want in athletics or in dance with whatever they were um, excited about. What about in your house? or with your relationships with your family. Maybe find your favorite Bible verse. And so they kind of just went and did their thing. And so um, Austin, you know, chose Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. I did not tell him to do that. He did that himself, um, you know, and everything he had was more baseball centered because that's his goal, you know, and Addison's was different and Mason's is different. So you guys don't control it. Let them go and let them be free. Um, but that's, I mean, it doesn't have to be super crazy. So just give them a little poster board or a spiral or sheet of paper with little post-it notes and section it off. And so um, your adult goals are going to be different than your kids' goals. So like I said, I would have them write down goals for school, write down goals for siblings and friends, what they foresee for their future, and anything that they want to work on, okay? And then for me, now mind you, I just wrote mine down. I'd already had it, had it written down. I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I created one on pick collage, and I'm sending it off to Office Max to laminate. But in the meantime, I at least wrote it down so that I could share it with them and with you guys. And so what I did was I always pick a word for the year and that's when I get quiet. And so God gave me the word joy. He gave me the word joy and the verse to go along with it was 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 that said, be joyful always, pray at all times, be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants for you in your life in union with Christ Jesus. And I love that because you know, I consider myself to be a very joyful, happy person, but it's hard when things are tough. And so my goal is to be that example because I believe that the best way that you can show Jesus is by ha having joy. And that joy to me is Christ within and just being happy. And when people see that you're happy through the good times and the bad times, they wonder like, what it is? what is it about you? And you're able to share that it's Christ Jesus that's in you because I wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything. I wouldn't have been able to be the best wife I can be. I would not have been able to have three kids. I would have not have been able to achieve the success that I've had in my business if it wasn't for connecting to Jesus. That's the honest truth. And um, I don't know what your faith is, but that's mine. And I do know that your faith is important. And so I wrote my word with my verse. And then I wrote down everything in my faith, how I wanna grow in my faith. I'm not gonna read you all this, cause it's personal. But um, for example, with faith, I put quiet time every single day without fail, first thing in the morning, 15 to 20 minutes, quiet time in prayer, reading 10 pages in a leadership book. Um, I'm really big into singing. And so I wanna get involved in the singing ministry. So that was just, I have a few more things. And then I put health, what I want for health. I already work out three times a week, but I'm to move up to four times a week and I need to drink more water eight glasses of water um, relationship you know pray 
I pray for my spouse, but we don't always pray together. So I really want to work on that. Um, business, my goal is Inner Circle, which is the top level in our company. Um, top ranked in, in our company. And so it's a high level and I'm high, high diamond circle, but I want to achieve Inner Circle. And so that's my goal. And then I have a whole lot of other things. And then my sales goal and what I want to do daily. And then I have um, with my kids, I want to be more in the moment with my kids and purposeful and have more single dates with each one of them and really love them the way that their love language um, is, you know, so like my firstborn, he's more, his love language is touch. And so it means a whole lot to him when I sit down with him and I pray and I rub his back at night. And so that means a lot to him. <clears throat> Mason is more words. And so just you know, sitting down with him, encouraging him, catching him doing the smallest thing and just saying, good job, buddy. Like, that's awesome. Or, you know, Addison is time. You know, she really enjoys those one-on-one little dates with me. And so making time for that. And so, um, and then there was a few other things on here um, that I put, like being on time. You know, I'm really trying hard, but it's something, you know, we all have that thing that we fight, that we struggle with. And so for me, it's time. And so setting the clock backs, really being intentional with being on time this year. And you know, we're not perfect. And another thing I wanna try to really do is touch it once. And what that means is touch it once means, I don't know about you, but have you guys ever cleaned out your house and everything's clean and clear? And then you take out that outfit or maybe you take out those two outfits and then you put one on, but then you leave one there on the dresser, on the, on, on the couch. Hold on, honey. Okay. Or you take out your makeup and you do your makeup, but you don't put it back. Okay. I'm not bad, but I would say I need some improvement. <clears throat> and so what I mean by that touch it once is put it back right away. And I know that that's gonna save so much more time. And so anyway, I wanna encourage you to sit down and to do your goal posters or your vision board with your family. You can do it on a, you know, an old fashioned poster board. You can do it on pic collage. And on my pic collage one, there's pictures of things that I want, trips that trips and places that we wanna go this year, things we wanna do for the house, um, people that I wanna develop in my business, things I wanna develop for myself. So that I'll show to you as that's done, but at least I have it written down. Um, and so I really wanna encourage you to sit down and get quiet, find your word with a verse that attaches to it. And you know what? Pray about your word. You might already have it. Um, it might come to you in a dream. It might come to you on a billboard. Um, it might come to you in a sermon. It might come to you in a podcast. Um, it might come to you just randomly through somebody else but I want you to meditate and focus on that word. And in the morning, just if you catch yourself with a negative thought or what your singular focus is, because there's so much distraction right now, right? In our world, there's YouTube and there's Instagram and there's Facebook and everybody's doing this and that. And you've got to get clear. You've got to get focused on your one thing, your goal, because it's hard to chase two rabbits when you're here and there and everywhere. And so that's what I learned was to get connected first in the year to what's my long-term goal. You guys, you got to live in your vision and not in your reality. That is how I achieved everything that I've been able to achieve in Mary Kay. I became the youngest national sales director in Mary Kay. I started at 22 and finished at 26. And I don't say that to you to brag. That's not what this is about. But what I'm saying is not many people were doing direct sales and network marketing. And so I had to be really, really disciplined, goal orientated. Um, and I had to really be mentally tough and to live in my long-term vision of the house that I wanted to live in, where I wanted my kids to go to school, where I wanted them to travel. And you guys, everything that I put on paper, everything that I prayed about and thought about, we achieved. And so you can't say that it's silly because it works. It truly works. What you speak of your life, what you think, what you meditate on, what you think about becomes a reality, you guys, and protecting your space. So, um, so yeah, so get quiet, figure out your long-term, your mid-term, your short-term goal, do the brainstorming, like I told you, and create your goal posters for yourself, for your kids, for your husband, get a new date book for the year. It always makes me feel good. <laughs> and I posted the other day on Instagram, I love gallery leather, and I'll tell you why, because you get to monogram it, and I love to monogram. And I put my goal in there, I put my goal in there. So it's pink gold, I love it, so you can get whatever color you want. And what I like about it is it fits in my purse. I can take it with me ever. And I like things with times. 
so that I can see it. Um, I don't like to just have one big space. So you have to know what's good for you and then your month at a glance and all that. So get a good date book. And I posted on my Instagram story underneath Daisha Daily, the date books that I like, um, a little bit more about that. And so I'll come on here a little bit more to tell you guys a little bit more on goal setting and things you can do for the year. But you guys, the biggest advice I can give you is live in your vision and not in, not in your reality. Get mentally tough. Have that miracle morning, that quiet time to pray. Go over your word, your scripture, um, your goals. You know, read something in a leadership book or podcast, working out, get your get yourself ready um, to conquer 2018. So um, I know it's gonna be a great year and I hope that this was encouraging to you.